part one of, oh no, sorry about that, part one of the unknown twin. It's the first day of school tomorrow and I'm finally going to a real one. Yep, that's, that's great, Adelaide. Can you go to bed now? Yes, mom, I can. Alan, what are we gonna do? We can't send her to a real school. We don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know. Well, obviously she doesn't know, so she wouldn't tell anyone. But what if they find out? How would they find out if she doesn't even know? What if someone recognizes the way she looks, huh? How would they recognize it? You know what happened 12 years ago, right? You're right. Whatever, let's just go to bed. The next day. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's the first day at school. Finally, what should I wear? I'll wear this. And my headband, of course. Got my backpack, let's go. Oh, uh, hey guys. What are you doing? Honey, are you sure you want to go to real school? Yeah, I made this decision so long ago. But look at this room you have for homeschool. The classrooms aren't this nice. And I'm glad they won't be. What classroom has a random piano sitting inside of it that nobody even uses? Well, this one does, of course. That's what makes it amazing. And we'll get rid of the piano if that means you'll stay home. No, I'm going to real school. Why do you guys want me locked up in here anyway? You don't know how boring it is because you've never been tortured like this. Well, what if I tell you your grandma made me stay at home school? What? Yeah, what if I told you I was in the same situation you were in? Well, then I wouldn't believe you. I'm off. Bye-bye. Oh, no, she didn't listen to us. It's okay. Nobody will find out. Gee, yeah, I hope. Huh. <sighs> hey, what's up? Hi. Are you new here? I've never seen you around. Well, obviously, it's the first day of school. You're going to see a lot of people you don't know. Sorry, that sounded a bit rude. But I've always been homeschooled. Yeah, I am new here. Oh, that's cool. So have you never been to a real school? Nope. Always been homeschooled. Oh, that sucks. But who's your teacher, anyway? Uh, Mr. Clipper. Oh, same. Is it bad that you're in a class with me? No, it's just bad that we have Mr. Clipper. He's a little strange. But we should go. We're going to be late. Yeah, you guys lead the way. I don't know where I'm going. Got it. Hello, guys. It's me, Mr. Clipper. Welcome to grade eight. Anyway, there's some things you should know if you're in my class. Number one, uh, it's a class. Number two, you know what? Why don't we just get to the icebreaker, shall we? When I call your name, say something about yourself. Sophia. Oh, uh, I do volleyball. That's a thing about me. Nice, volleyball. Ralph. Um, I can draw. Cool, bro. Adelaide. Oh, uh, this is my first time at a real school. Nice. Later. And so bring in all your baby photos tomorrow so we can work on this project. It'll be fun. Hmm, I gotta get home and ask my parents if I have baby photos. Hey guys, where are my baby photos? Your what? Part two. Your what? My baby photos? I need them for a project. Uh, uh, well, honey, you see, we were, uh, very, uh, broke then. We didn't have phones, or, or cameras, or, or anything. So we, we got nothing of you. N nothing? D no, no, uh, just gonna have to do that project without it. Do you at least have any stories about me? Uh, I actually lost all my memory until you turned seven. Uh, same. What? Um, okay. Alan, what do we do? Um, uh, uh, hi, I'd like to book a doctor's appointment for my daughter tomorrow. What are you doing? She can't do the project if she can't go to school. Oh, smart. Oh, uh, we think she has, um, uh, uh she just needs a checkup. Yeah, checkup. And, and make it as long as you possibly can, preferably. Okay, thanks, bye. Phew, that was close. Later. I can't believe you guys never told me how broke we used to be. Uh, yeah, we were just waiting for the, um, right moment to tell you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we, we're not poor anymore, though. We just didn't want you thinking that we'd be poor forever. Hmm. I feel like I would have remembered if we were poor or not. Well, uh, I think that's enough of dinner for now. We should probably all go to bed, shouldn't we? Dad, we just started. Your father's right. Either shove your food in your mouth and go to bed, or maybe we can just stop talking about this. Um, why? Uh, we just don't like to bring it up. It brings back the memories, you know? Oh, um, okay. Well, that certainly was a delightful dinner. Yeah, I- Well, off to bed. Um, okay. Good night. Night, sweetie. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, we have to stop talking. My parents have been acting so weird lately, and I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Oh, well. The next day. Oh, I have a presentation today. I should probably get ready. I think I'll wear this today. <laughs> Whoa. Do you guys have to do this every morning? 
Hey, honey. Where are you going? Um, school. No, honey, you have a doctor's appointment. What, since when? Since yesterday. I just realized you haven't had a checkup in such a long time. Dad, I had one a month ago. Exactly. So long. You could have a uh, disease by now. We don't know unless we get you checked up. Come on, let's go. What? Um, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was close. She almost had to present a project. And then she would have found out. Hey, Adelaide, how are you feeling? I'm fine. Then why are you here? Seriously? What? Nothing. Anyway, I don't even know why I'm here, because I just got a checkup, and I feel fine. Well, uh, that wraps up the appointment. Have a good day. Well, that was a waste of my time. Dad, can you take me to school now? You're, you're done already? I thought you'd be in there for, like, 30 minutes at least. Well, I just got a checkup, and there's nothing wrong with me anyway. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, you know what? Who cares if you're late? You're signed out till lunchtime anyway. Let's go get breakfast. What the heck? Um, okay. Dad, what are we doing here? Having breakfast, and you know how much I love this place. We've never been here. Part 3. Dad, we've never been here. Yes, we have. You know my good friend, Paul. Paul, have you met my daughter? My name's Mark. Right, same thing. Uh, you know, Paul and I haven't had a chance to catch up in a long time. Who are you? Shut up. So, we should do that. We should catch up, because he's being silly and pretends he doesn't know me when he does. <laughs> What are you talking about? Can you be quiet? Don't you want to catch up with your favorite old bestie? Um, of course, sir. Once my coworker comes, then we can go over there and talk. Right, now you're getting the hang of it. <laughs> right. This is so embarrassing. Oh, there's my coworker. Hello. Why does she almost look familiar? I've never seen her in my life, though. Evelyn, you wouldn't mind running the front desk for like 10 minutes, right? No, of course not. Okay, let's go, uh person i've never met don't say that uh i mean friend so good to catch up after all these years i still don't know who you are don't say that dad can we leave honey i'm talking to my best pal paul why don't you just order some food and sit back relax yeah Ugh, whatever hi hello oh my gosh she looks so familiar can it be no no it can't it can't be no it's not it's not but what if it is um, hello? Oh, uh, sorry. What would you like? Could I just get one of your cinnamon buttons, please? Um, of course. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, uh, ma'am. Yes? Could we have your contact information for our rewards program? Oh, uh, I don't need anything for the rewards program, thanks. Oh, no, it's, um, it's a pretty good deal. What does it do? It, uh, gets you lots of free stuff and more price deals. All right, fine. I would type it into our system, but I, uh, um, uh... So, for now, I'll just write it down in a note and keep it and put it on the computer later. Right. After giving the info. Thank you so much, ma'am. Okay, now I have her contact info. I have to tell mom. That can't be her, though, can it? No, I think it is. I think it is. But I haven't seen her for so long, so... No, no, it, it can't. Who knows? We'll find out. Oh, it's lunchtime at my daughter's school now, which means she can leave. Oh? Stop talking. Honey, it's time to go, finally. I had a great time catching up with Paul. Mark? Same thing. All right, Dad. Come on. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah? Can I help you? Oh, um, do you walk home from school? Yeah, why? Oh, um, do you think you could stop by here on your way home? Why? Just please trust me on this. I really have to talk to you. Uh, okay. See you later, I guess. Bye. After school. And she told you to come back here? Yeah, apparently she really wants to talk to me. <laughs> That's weird. Anyway, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye, guys. Um, hey. Oh my goodness, it's you. Is everything okay? Well, um, this might sound really weird, but you're probably not going to believe me. But I think... What? I think... Come on, spit it out. I think it might be my twin sister. You're what? Part four. What? No, 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 no. I, I think you're mistaken. I don't have any siblings. I've lived as an only child my whole life. No, that's what you think. Let me call my mom. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. Please don't go yet. I need to call my mom right now. Well, maybe our mom. We'll figure this out. Mom, I found her. No, no, it's really her. Mom, mom. No, I'm not even kidding. I'm like 99% sure it's her. No, she looks so familiar. No, and I... Mom, mom, li listen. Yes, come to my work. Yes, she's here. Okay, bye, see you in a second. Sorry about that. Oh my gosh, is it really you? Um, who are you? 
Oh my gosh, I think it is you. I thought I would never see you again. I, who are you? Sweetie, I am your mother. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't know who you are. And even if you are, I don't know how to believe you. Well, first I'm going to explain what happened to my daughter. Then I'll explain reasons why I think it's you. I had two twin girls. Evelyn? And probably you. But one night when you guys were asleep, one of you was kidnapped. And I never found her again, but I think it might be you. Well, uh, how do you know? Well, I can kind of tell from your face. I know it's weird, but, uh, sorry, what's your name? Adelaide? Hmm, they must have changed your name. What? Okay, wait. Is your father Alan? Yes. <gasps> yes. Does he work at the Toka Bank? Yes. <gasps> oh my gosh. I used to work at the bank. Alan was my coworker. One day, I showed a picture of my two twin girls, Evelyn and you, but your name was Hayden. And he was talking about how amazing and beautiful Hayden was. And how he always wanted a kid of his own, but he never got to have one. And then every day, he would ask questions like, how's Hayden? Did you do anything with Hayden this weekend? But then, my last day on the job, I told everyone I was leaving. But Alan came up to me. He told me I had to confirm my information was still the same, in case they needed to contact me for any reason. My address was on that information sheet. And that was the same night that I got broken into, and Hayden, which might be you, got stolen. Oh my gosh. Well, I still don't know. Well, hey, um, Adelaide, how long have you been in school for? Well, this is my first year in an actual school. Exactly. They probably didn't want you seen. Well, I don't know. Maybe they just wanted to homeschool me? Hayden, I mean, Adelaide, have you ever asked your parents for baby photos? Yes. Have they ever given it to you? No. They said they didn't have any photos of me. They... Wait. Exactly. They don't have any photos of you because they didn't have you. You were kidnapped. I think you have a point. But I still don't know what to do. Well, I'll give you a few days and you can get as much information as you can. But I'm telling you, I'm 99% sure it's you. Hmm, okay. Listen. Tonight, go into your father's work drawer. Work drawer? Yes. I know he has a brown journal in there somewhere. He used to write in it every single day at work. Flip over to June 14th, 2009. You might find something. And also, I'll give you my contact information if you need anything else. Okay. And if you could, could you try sending me baby photos of me so I can maybe double check? Yes, of course. But. Part 5. I'm making this at 1am. But. Whatever you do, do not tell your parents. Parents in quotation marks. Because if you tell them, they might run away or whatever. Okay, this is really weird. My parents aren't my real parents. That random lady is my real mom. Well, maybe. That does explain all their weird actions, though. And also why they have both brown hair and I have blonde. <sighs> anyway. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm a bit late. That's okay. You went to the coffee shop after school? Yeah, I was talking to one of my friends. Which friend? Uh, Ralph. He just wanted to meet up and talk a little bit, you know? I see. After dinner. Another great dinner. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go to bed now. Thanks, guys. Hmm, why is she going to bed so early? Beats me. Huh, she really is in bed early. Weird. And now we wait. She won't find out, right? No, of course not. It's been 12 years. She hasn't found out yet. Oh my gosh. I have to be kidnapped. That's why they're always so worried about me doing stuff. And that's why they're always talking about, thank gosh she doesn't find out. It's because they don't want me knowing that I'm kidnapped. Because they don't want me telling the police. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Let's just put our pajamas on. All right. Good night, dear. Good night. Oh my gosh, what just happened? I can't go in just yet. I need to make sure they're fully asleep. Ten minutes later. Okay, yeah, they're definitely asleep. I gotta be really, really quiet. They cannot hear anything. Okay, brown journal. Oh my gosh, I made it. Okay, now time to read this. June 14th, 2009. June 14th, 2000. <gasps> June 14th, 2009. I've done it. Amanda's last day was today, and I have just managed to take Hayden. She is just perfect, and she is also so young, so she will not remember. I'm changing her name to Adelaide Myers. Oh my gosh, I'm Adelaide Myers. Nobody will remember her as Hayden Emma Smith. My girlfriend will also be happy about this. We finally have our own angel. Welcome to our family, Hayden. Oh, wait, you're not Hayden anymore. You're Adelaide. Cheers from Alan. Oh my gosh, my dad, I mean, Alan, is a kidnapper. And I'm the kidnapped one. What do I do? What do I do? 
Well, first of all, I gotta put this back. Evelyn really wasn't lying. How did she recognize me, though? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I need to take this and put this away. Ah, come on, pick up, pick up, pick up. What the? Who is calling me at 3 a.m.? Hello? Evelyn. Oh, hey, Adelaide. Trust me, don't call me that. After reading my dad's, well, Alan's journal, you have to call me Hayden. What, Hayden? It really is you. Oh my gosh, okay. Tomorrow, when you wake up, pack all your stuff you can in your backpack. But instead of going to school, come to my house. We're gonna call the police. And I'll see you tomorrow. I have to tell mom right now. All right. I can't believe this. Part six. I can't believe this. Okay, well, first of all, I have to put this phone back. Now I gotta process what is happening. My parents are not my real parents. They're just some random people who decided to steal me. And my name isn't Adelaide. My name is Hayden. Hayden? I didn't know that. Well, obviously I didn't know that. Okay. Well, time to go to bed. The next day. Right, I'm not going to school today. I'm going to my sister's house. But they don't know that. Okay, first I'm gonna change. Now I gotta get all my clothes. Clothes done. Oh, can't leave without these. Alright, off to my real house. Whew. Off to school, guys. See you later. But next time you see me, I won't be alone. I'll be with the police. While I'm here. <gasps> Hayden! Hey, uh, Mom. I can't believe we finally found you. After 12 years. I missed you so much. Yeah, I'm so glad you're back. Same. I can't believe my parents, or those people, weren't my real parents. I know. Can we just contact the police already? They have to know about this right now. Yeah, let's do that. Got it. All right, so now I gotta head down to the station and tell them everything. And, and we also have to confront your kidnappers. Right. But I'm gonna do something before we do that. Like what? Oh, yeah, that'll be good. What? Oh. Can't wait to see that happen. After what they did to my child, after stealing my child, I cannot wait to see that happen to them. Because they deserve it. Well, let's go. Oh, well, hello, you guys. Hi. What brings you guys here today? Well, should I tell you my name? Yes. First, middle, and last, please. Hayden Emma Smith. <gasps> Hayden? Like, the one that got kidnapped? Yes. Are these your kidnappers? No. That's my real mom, and that's my real sister. She explains everything. And I found out that they weren't my real parents. And my name is not really Adelaide, it's Hayden. Oh my gosh. Well, this is a big deal. We're going to their house right now. Well, first I gotta call backup. Okay, we'll wait at the station and come with the police. But first, you go to their house. Why is she going back to their house? Well, they think I'm coming home from school right now. And I have a plan. Um, okay. We need backup! Hello, Mom and Dad. Hey, honey, how was school? It was great. Um, I have a question about those baby photos. Um, we already told you we don't have any. And why is that? Because we told you we're poor. Oh, but do you not have any photos of Adelaide? What are you saying? Or do you not have photos of Hayden Smith? <gasps> who, who told you about that? Yeah, Alan and Maria. I know you guys are my parents. You can't hide that from me. Adelaide, we didn't- My name is not Adelaide. Fine, Hayden. But nice try. Now that you know, you're not leaving anywhere. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, we have the building surrounded. Come out here now. Uh-oh. Now! <laughs> Bye-bye, you two. Ugh! Whoa. That's a lot of people. Look, this is a misunderstanding. Part 7. Probably the last part. But th this is all a misunderstanding. Yeah, we would never kidnap anyone. If you'd never kidnap anyone, then what has the kidnapped child, Hayden Smith, been doing in your house for the past 12 years? Shut up, Adelaide. Who's Adelaide? I'm Hayden. Stop it! Give me my sister back. Why would you take my daughter, Alan? We would not take anyone. Yeah, we would never do that. Oh, go into his bedroom, go into the top drawer, pick out the brown journal, and then go to June 14th, 2009. Uh, uh, what? Who told you about that? There's nothing in that, I swear, officer. Oh, we'll be checking. And while you do that, I'm gonna join this angry mob. Move. Ah, so it is true. You two stole Miss Hayden. Uh, it was his idea. What? No, it was not. I don't care whose idea it was. You're both being arrested. Come with us. You're gonna spend a lot of time in jail. And that's how Hayden got reunited with her family. Or Adelaide, whatever you want to call her. And they all lived happily ever after. I'm great at endings. Bye, I hope you enjoyed the series.